please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children we are working with fractions now here when all the denominators are same we got to look at the numerator and we are going to decide for ourselves if you are given two fractional numbers the two, uh, denominators are same then you will look at the numerators and decide which is big which is small so what we are going to do now is i am going to write few fractional numbers with the same denominators and you going to decide which is the greater fractional number all right which is the greater fractional number which is the greater fractional number which is the greater fractional number that's what we are looking at now right so i am going to give you sets of fractional numbers and i'm going to put a box wherein you can put the sign greater all right now first is 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 you must decide which is greater the denominators are same next 7 by 9 and 6 by 9 next by 7 and 1 by 7 next 2 by 3 and 1 by 3 next 2 by 4 and 1 by 4 Seven by eleven and three by eleven. Next, three by eight and five by eight. Next, two by ten. and 4 by 10 3 by 6 and 5 by 2 by 5 and 4 by 5 6 by 12 and 10 by 12 3 by 20 and 14 by 20 so i have whole lot of fractional numbers here and i am going to put a box for each and we'll decide which is greater and put into the box so which is the greater
fractional number that's what we are going to look at for every fractional number we have here the denominators are same so we're going to look at only the numerators before we decide on the greater fractional number and we'll put the correct sign in each of the boxes now we need to remember that in each of these cases when the numerators are different and the denominators are same the fraction which the bigger the fraction the bigger the fractional number if the numerator has bigger number that fraction is the greater fractional number that's what we have to remember now let us take case one by one in the first case we have 2 by 5 and 3 by 5 a portion is divided a whole is divided into five parts two parts out of five or three parts out of five, which is big the denominators are same and where are we looking at we are looking at the numerator the bigger the numerator the bigger the fraction so now we know three parts is more than two parts so three by five is bigger than greater than two by five so we put the greater sign always remember the bird has swallowed the greater number first now let us look at the second option here sum here nine in both the fractional number we have nine as the denominator we have seven parts out of nine parts six parts out of nine parts now we are looking at the numerators the bigger the number in the numerator is the greater the fraction so seven by nine is greater than bigger than six by nine okay in the next we have one by seven and six by seven the denominators are same and the whole is divided into seven parts that we have here one by seven and six by the in the numerator we have six and one we know six is bigger than one therefore six by seven fractional number is greater than or bigger than one by seven fractional number now let's go down to the next one we have the whole divided into three parts we have two by three and one by three the denominators are same so the numerator we have two and we have one the one we know two by three fractional number is bigger than greater than one by three now now let's look at let us look at the next sum here and we have in the next sum we have two by four and one by four okay now the denominators are same four the whole is divided into four parts so you have one by four and two by four so we know the two is bigger than one the denominators are same so two by four fractional number is greater than the fractional number one by four now here you have the fractional numbers seven by eleven and 3 by 11, 7 by 11 and 3 by 11. Now, in this case, we have the denominators 11 in the denominator and we have the numerators, we have 7 and 3. The whole is divided into 11 parts, denominators are same. Now, we have 7 parts out of 11 parts, 3 parts out of 11 parts so the denominator same now we know 7 is bigger than 3 so 7 by 11 fractional number is greater than bigger than 3 by 11 next we have 
3 by 8 and 5 by 8. The denominators are same 8 and we have the whole divided into 8 parts and we have 3 by 8 parts and 5 by 8. So we know number 5 by 8. 5 by 8 fractional number is bigger than, greater than 3 by 8 fractional number. So 3 by 5 by 8 is bigger than, greater than 3 by 8 fractional number. In the next sum we have, we have 10 as the denominator, 2 by 10 and 4 by 10 and we know the numerator 4 is bigger than 2. So, 4 by 10 fractional number is greater than or bigger than the 2 by 10 fractional number. Now, let's look at the next sum. The denominators are same 6. We have 3 by 6 and 5 by 6. The whole is divided into 6 and we have 3 parts out of 6 parts, 5 parts out of 6 parts. Denominators are same. The numerator we have 5. So, 5 we know is bigger than 3. Therefore, 5 by 6 fractional number is bigger than, greater than 3 by 6. Now, let's look at this. We have the denominators are same. 2 by 5 and 4 by 5. The denominator being the same, let's look at the numerator. The whole is divided into 5 parts. Here you have 4 by 5 parts and 2 by 5. And we know 4 is bigger than 2. So, 4 by 5 fractional number is bigger than, greater than 2 by 5. Here you have the denominators 12. <coughs> the whole is divided into 12 parts. The 6 by 12 parts and 10 by 12 parts. Now, let's look at the numerators. We have 10 is bigger than 6. Therefore, 10 by 12 fractional number is bigger than, greater than 6 by 12. And finally, you have the last sum, the denominator is same, 20. The whole is divided into 20 parts and we have 3 by 20 and 14 by 20. Definitely, 14 is bigger than, greater than 3. Therefore, 14 by 20 fractional number is bigger than, greater than 3 by 20 fractional number. Today, we have learned to select which is the greater fractional number given to. Looking at the numerators when the denominators are same. 